I have binge watched The Haunting of Hill House and I'm creeped the F out. Hey YouTube, it is Thursday, November uh, 1st. Wow. Oh, <laughs> and the launch of Pandora's um, winter collection. Yay. I'm going to go to the store tomorrow and pick up a few pieces. But yesterday was All Hallows Eve, and me and the kitties went uh, trick-or-treating for the first time ever, including myself. First time ever. We had a blast. My neighborhood knows how to do it. <laughs> I mean, one guy had some kind of t tower of the hall of terror that he built on his garage. Number one, I'm like, what, dude, where do you store this stuff? Number two, how long does it take? How much money? I mean, this thing rivaled any Halloween I mean, Hollywood horror movie set. Um, those kids get so much candy. They had so much fun. Of course, now I have to go through all the candies because there are idiots in the world. Um, and I most likely will levy a uh, 40 to 50% tax on said candy. Uh, Michael Myers, of course, was out. Um, he was. His house is actually very nice, too, the way he put it up. And him and his zombie girlfriend, I don't know, or wife. And of course my daughter runs off before he comes out and I'm like, Stella, Michael, M Michael, so I said, tell her to run back. He had already gone in the house, but his wife went and got him. So he comes out and you know, he, st he does the stand and stare and Stella's just like, hi Michael. And he's just standing and staring. She's like, hi Michael. <laughs> so after a while he's kind of like, okay, this kid's not frightened. So let me just wave and she goes running off. Actually, she takes a candy from him and goes running off. And I'm like, oh, only my child, only my child. But, um, yeah, yeah, that was that. Um, so I was off yesterday. Monday, I wore um, this anthropology green polka dot top with my navy Zara pants and my navy coach flats. I'm still wearing the Alexander Wang bag. Um, only because I just am waking up so late, or, or yeah, late, and I don't have time to change the bag. I think my little one has an ear infection. I have to take him to the doctor tomorrow. He was feeling better this morning. I've never dealt with ear infections, but I think there's something going on, so I'll have to take him to the doctor tomorrow. So this will probably be up next week, much to the chagrin of some of you. Um, but yeah, holiday season has kicked off, yay. And uh, we're chugging on to Thanksgiving. Uh, today, wearing my All Saint jacket, the original one I had. I need a black one, a true black All Saints jacket. And I love these jackets. Um, and my, so like a peachy skirt from ASOS, white H&M top, gold um, coach flats, and my Pandora, I mean my um, Chanel necklace, Hermes uh, bracelet, um, pink Pandora, I mean rose gold Pandora bracelet, and my holiday bracelet and just my ring from Etsy. I th took out my earrings yesterday so I forgot but someone asked me to show my um, helix piercing. So these are the two I have up here. Uh, next month I think I'm gonna go and get the jewelry that these piercings were intended for. Um, you'll see the jewelry um, is like an orbital thing <laughs> so it'll come down slightly here. But yeah, those are the two. These are pretty much pretty much healed. They didn't really give me much trouble at all. I mean, once or twice, but they didn't really give me much troubles, and they're healed. And this is about a year ago, these two. This is two piercings, upper uh, lobe, lower helix. It's two piercings with an orbital ring going through, so there's the back. So, yeah. These didn't really give me too much trouble. Um, I want to actually get a better jewelry piece to go in there, but I love that. Thinking I need another piercing. I don't know. They only have one lobe on this side. On this ear, I can move all the fluff. I just have the two rings. Oh my God. In there, the top one is giving me so much trouble. It's been almost over two years and it's still bothering me. Then two lobe piercings. I don't have anything in the first hole at the moment, but there's my second hole. I'm wanting something maybe up here too. I don't know, but yeah. I love piercings, but they are a pain in the arse to heal. Um, I'd rather get tattoos. 
so yeah guys that is it for today um wearing my meat matte nude and matrimony palettes on the eyeballs just blown in it's like 9 40 so i haven't i haven't even eaten so i gotta eat something before i put anything on the lips and um on the nails is wicked from essie yes perfume someone asked me uh, to include perfumes of the day i only really have three that i rotate uh two of which which are my mark by mark jacobs honey and um what's the other one Honey and Daisy are running out. They're like two spritzes away from being running out, but I think those will always be my collection. I love those perfumes so much. And then I have Prada Candy, which I'm wearing today, which I don't think I'll be buying. Um, so it's time to look for some new perfumes, but Christmas is coming, so we'll see what we can get. Yes. Um, yeah, so hope you guys are having a good week uh, and a good weekend, because I don't think I'm putting this up until tomorrow, until next week. Um, yeah. So I will be talking to you later. Take care. Bye. <clears throat> hey, YouTube. It is election day, Tuesday, November 6th. I have voted. I did have my sticker. left it in the car this morning. Um, don't know what good it will do, but I had to get my vote in. I didn't even look. It was like, psh, 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 vote. <laughs> oh, so we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with that. Um, new show that I have picked up. And God knows why I'm into horror movies. I do not like horror movies. Don't like horror movies at all. They creep me out. But lately I find that horror movies are not really scary. They're not, you know, they're, they're not really scary. They're just dumb. And most of the times so I'm like rooting for the entity. I'm like, oh, haunt her. You know, just, you know, you're going to hear a bump, a sound. You know you're the only one. Why, why? Turn on a light. One. One. Turn on a light. Can we not go down in the basement? Why do we have these basements? Why are we... I, I just don't understand the choices some of these people make. Anyway. Netflix, The Haunting of Hill House. It can be slow at times, but I found it to be very intriguing. My husband and I are going back and forth. I watched it first on a rare Saturday where it was all rainy and we just stayed in pajamas all day and slept <laughs> and watched and binge watched. So I binge watched this show first. And then he came along like the next day and started watching like the last episodes. Now he's, now we're both re-watching it because I need to re-watch it. Because the first time I watched it like this. So this time, you know, kind of, <laughs> this time I think I can watch it, you know, because I know where all the scary parts are. It messed with my mind. I even questioned getting up in the middle of the night to check on my kids. <laughs> I was like, okay, I mean, just get up and go. <laughs> there are some images. It's not your tongue in cheek, like your regular, you know, corny, trying to get you to jump kind of horror movie. It really makes you think. It really has a backstory. It really has literal ghosts and ghosts that we carry ourselves, you know? it's it's. If you guys haven't checked it out, check it out. Um, I promise you'll love it. Even if you don't like scary movies, it does show you things that we, trauma or things that guilt that we carry through life are our personal ghosts. And if you do watch it, let's start a discussion below if you have watched it. Let me know your thoughts on what you thought the ending was about. I don't want to say it now in case people are still watching it. But if there is a discussion started below, I would like to know your thoughts on the ending. I have thoughts. I have thoughts. And who these ghosts were, and what the house actually is, and, and stuff like that. Very interesting show. Um, yeah, so that's the most interesting thing that's going on in my life. Uh, nothing really going on. Today, wearing this sweater from Zara, which is very warm. I'm so hot in it. And it's starting to pill. I'm like, can I not get a sweater that does not pill after one season, please? I hate the pilling. These pants from Zara that are starting to pill, and I love them, albeit they are a little thin. So I want to find a thicker version, which I think I have um, found a thicker version at Zara. I have been going around uh, Zara, Cos, H&M, other stories, different stores, seeing if um, I'm trying on some stuff. I uh, will put it up. I, I film myself trying on some things and seeing if I actually want to buy clothes. You know, I'm just like out of the clothes buying, just not interested in buying clothes, which is very nice. I am interested in buying Pandora, so I'm very sorry to you guys who cannot stand Pandora, but I am in a Pandora, like, as you can see. Look at this. <laughs> I don't know what it is. But those videos do very well. There's a big Pandora, um, 
you know, following on YouTube. So I figured, hey, I love it. Let me, why not? Um, and it can be like, yeah, I gotta break it up a little bit too. Uh, and once this dies, I'm pretty sure I'll leap onto something else. But for now, it's a bad door, bad door, bad door. Uh, yeah, so the sweater, pants are from Zara. Shoes are my um, gold coat shoes. And I'm wearing it with my Chloe bag. And it has been raining. Raining, raining, raining. Yesterday and today, it has been raining. So yesterday I didn't come on because it was raining and it was, and I just, no, no one was in. I didn't even bother to try to look cute. I wasn't wearing anything remotely interesting and I couldn't get myself to get up out of my desk to make a video. So um, this is a Wilson's jacket that I got years ago. You can barely zip, I mean you can zip, but it's a little tight now, but. love this jacket. Um, if you guys remember Wilson's, those of you who are old enough. It's just a nice um, jacket. And you know, just today being very cash, very cash. I love the, because uh, it's like gross out, like I said. I'm actually wearing these shoes. These are the shoes, I, these are Aldo shoes that I keep under my desk because my gold coat shoes that I wore this morning are soaked, soaked. So yeah, um, jewelry is um, these earrings from Le Deux, which I love. I love the charm. However, the back of these earrings is so freaking annoying. And I was just watching HRH Collection, um, which I got burned from her jewelry before, but now she's doing 14 karat gold. And she has these kind of hoop earrings, but with the lever back, which is more, which is easier to um, close. The back of this earring, which is not even closed, you have to like twist out to open, twist in to close, and then find the hole. It's like, who, who can, who, who? <sighs> so I'm very tempted, and her hoop earrings are like $25, and they're gold. Well, the one is $25. So I'm considering giving my hard-earned money to her to get a couple of the hoop earrings, because I have a couple of the charms, and I love the charm earrings. Um, this ear is my catbird gold chain stud. Oh, still with my little skeleton <laughs> earring. I should change that. And my catbird um, cuff. Uh, <clears throat> wearing my Pandora holiday bracelet. And my two-tone Pandora gold bracelet. And my Hermes cuff. Puffy heart Pandora ring, Etsy ring. And that's it, Chanel necklace. Yeah, so that is it. What am I wearing? Oh, I'm wearing some Anastasia Beverly Hills and that Naked Basics 2 palette with the gray. I love the brown and this gray color. Very nice. I like the way it, um, I mean, this is the end of the day, so. But I do love the way this combination is, so. And I think I have cream in your coffee. Um, for the lips, nails are wicked. Perfume, ha, huh, I remembered, is... Uh, Mark by Mark Jacobs, Daisy, I think it's Daisy, I think I'm wearing Daisy today. Now, and I've been wearing Daisy and Honey so often now I can't tell them apart because I love them so much. Anyway guys, um, that is it for today. Let me know down below what you um, think of Hill House and I will be talking to you tomorrow. Take care, bye. That's the bent neck lady by the way. <laughs> hey YouTube, it is Thursday. So, what's today? Thursday, November 8th, 8th, yeah, 8th. I have just been in some sort of slump. I think it's the cold weather. I'm so cold all the time. I just don't feel like being bothered with fashion. <laughs> Hence my lackluster videos. I feel like my last couple of OTT, oh, oh, TD, T, oh my God. <laughs> oh, oh, TDs have been a bit, yeah. Just haven't been feeling it lately. Um, but wanted to get a little content out for you guys who like my videos. Uh, yesterday I didn't film. Again, just rainy day. Actually, today yesterday wasn't rainy because I wore my, I'll get to it, suede uh, Banana Republic skirt that I've had for years that I am terrified of putting in cleaners. A merino bull top from J. Crew that is annoying me because once again it is pilling and it is 100% merino wool. Um, and 
my go-to uh, coach flats because I cannot bring myself to go in my closet and wear anything else. And my H&M gray overcoat. I'm just like blah, just blah. And even today, even today, I just realized that this is a rewear. I think this outfit must be like a um a uh, security blanket. It's this Zara skirt. I mean, I'll be at the the. Anyway, it was funny because I was just watching one of my. I think it was the last outfit of the day actually. I wore this skirt with a, a different black sweater, but pretty much the same thing. This sweater is a J. Crew sweater. I think last week's sir week before last was a French Connection sweater and Loft Lauren shoes. <laughs> These are Zara shoes. <laughs> so I'm not even going to do the cutaway because this is a complete cheat. But this skirt is actually very warm, so maybe that's why I keep grabbing for it. And my um, All Things jacket and a very plush scarf. Um, Chloe bag. About to go to a floor social at my job. Hopefully there's some alcohol there to get me in a better mood. Just just not feeling it, ladies and gents. Just not feeling it. Today was the launch of that H&M Egad and Moschino collab. I don't know what the hell that's about. But for fun, I just thought this morning I would go online and just see what the pieces are and if they were indeed as hideous as they were. I mean, someone vomited in the 80s in a bad way. And you couldn't get on the site. It's crashed. It's like... And then I go over to H&M's Instagram page and so many people are so pissed off. First of all, I didn't know so many people were interested in this stuff. And then of course eBay had everything like jacked up. And I just left, left a comment on H&M's page and I'm like, maybe you should make your collection so exclusive if you're having issues every time with site traffic. It's like, I don't need this anxiety in my life. I'm trying to give you my money. Why am I having such a hard time? In which case, there's H&M right by my job. The line was actually moderate, not that long. If I could have been bothered enough, I would have said, no, stood online, but I just can't be bothered. I'm over this whole, you know, rush to get it. It is only two things left and you've wasted my time. Now, I'll have my little Moschino pieces, my real Moschino pieces, and I'll be happy with that. I can't be bothered. I just cannot be bothered to fight to give you my money. Just for subpar material items. I didn't even go out again to go look to see if anything, anything left. I just, there was nothing actually that caught my eye anyway, so I'm like, oh, I'm wasting time. Jewelry is the same stuff. Uh, Chanel necklace, pink Pandora bracelet, my holiday Pandora bracelet, cat bird moon earring, and what am I wearing here? I think, oh, this Georgiana half moon earring and my cat bird diamond thing. So yeah, um, the makeup has been the Anastasia Beverly Hills loose powders that I have, loose um, eyeshadows that I have along with my Naked Basics. I think it's the two. I think it's the two. The little one. Um, yeah, I don't know how long this funk will last. I just, I really think it's the change of the weather. This fall has, I don't know. I'd much rather be hot than like semi-cold. <laughs> just funk, guys. Creative, um block whatever you want to call it life um oh i am hankering for another tattoo which just dec decries my mood i don't know if you can see it but i've this stupid light backlighting wrote it out <laughs> i don't know if it's gonna be that big but it says beloved and i think i want to i might put it a little higher but anyway beloved because that's what my name means beloved and then uh, I think I want my, the date of my birth, 1978, somewhere here. And an outline of my cat, of, of a cat, just a plain, small outline of a cat. But I want the tail to have three heartbeats for the three babies that I had in my life and three whiskers. Yeah. So very plain, very simple. Um, I'll be getting that soon because when I feel like this, I'm kind of like something needs to be done. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. I will be talking to you next week.